Now this mistake with handstands is super common at all levels. So at the level when we're trying to hold the handstand freestanding, people will tend to do this with their movement. So they're doing corrections that way, not that way. Exactly the same thing happens when we're against the wall. People make the error of thinking the movement is this way when we're trying to balance from the wall. It's not that direction, it's that direction and that direction. And that's what I'm gonna go through today. Start off with the more beginner friendly exercises and look at the common mistake here. So we go into the chest to wall hands down position, whether it's hair or hair, and we think about getting into a good posture, good positioning, and we do this with our body. So we push the shoulders towards the wall or we push the hips towards the wall. So we're making the movement very much about this and not about this lengthening. Now this does two things. It creates a segmental issue in the body. So what that means is that we're breaking the body into lots of different components. We think about the elbows, the shoulders, the low back, the hips, the knees, and we start to focus on those individually in terms of them getting them into a good position. So I'm pushing my shoulders as hard as I can that way, or I'm pushing my hips, or I'm sucking in my stomach, or trying to make corrections to create a better line, but it makes the handstand very disjointed, much, much harder to control. And then the second thing we're doing when we're in this position and we're pushing towards the wall, it was we're making the movement very sideways in terms of I'm putting lots and lots of weight into the wall. And then what happens when we take the wall away, we're gonna collapse in that direction. So from the start, teaching the body to lengthen into the floor and reach up is gonna make it much, much easier to transition to freestand and handstand. Because obviously the goal is to get rid of this wall as soon as possible. Next, let's look at the two most common handstand balance drills. So we have the back to wall drill that teaches the all important overbalance control and the chest to wall version that teaches us the underbalance control when learning that handstand. And now the issue we run into is that we take the body in this direction instead of this direction to the handstand. So this happens with both of them. So I'm trying to pull from the wall. So if I'm pulling from the wall, I'm thinking I need to go in that direction. So my body does this and I keep pushing, 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 and then I end up going over. So I take my body over my base of support too much and I just keep going and I keep falling down this way. Instead, what I wanna think about is coming from the wall and pushing up at the same time. So I'm going off the wall to handstand, not off the wall in that direction. So it should look ideally more like this. So as I'm pushing through the fingers and reaching up, pushing away, I go to handstand. And now when I go back to wall, I relax a little bit and go back. Now I push up and away, but not too much away where it's all about that sideways movement and it, and it just pushes me down. Exactly the same when I'm this way around in that underbalance drill. Now I wanna be thinking about pushing the floor away as I take the shoulders forward. So I've got sideways movement, but as soon as the toes come off, I push up to my handstand. So I don't continue that sideways movement because that scares me and I'm more likely to do this or I'm gonna go with it and just carry on and end up going over. So again, it's not this direction, it's this direction. So slide away and then push into the floor and up towards the sky. We see exactly the same with the handstand entries. So I place the hands on the floor, I pick the focal point, I make a strong base with shoulders on top of hands. I do all that well, but then when I kick up, I kick in that direction and I go over. So that's really hard to catch and control, where instead, if I push through the floor and now kick up to handstand, Notice that my energy is going to the handstand. I'm going up to it, not over. Exactly the same when we do our jumps. We tend to go backwards. We jump forwards instead of jumping up to handstand. So always think whether it's the wall drills, the floor drills, we're going up to handstand, not over. And then we get into freestanding. Now in the freestanding handstand hold, most people look like this to start with. So they've got more of a banana handstand, their shoulders are forwards, their body's arched, and they want to improve their position. So when we start thinking about our position, again, we'd start to make those little mistakes where I'm thinking shoulders must open this direction, hips must open this direction. And then again, I have that segmental breakdown where all the components are trying to correct the posture forwards and backwards, where all I really need to think about is reaching up, pushing the floor away, and that makes the body cleaner, longer, and straighter, while still staying in that all-important handstand line, the balance window. So I'm here and now I just reach and push the floor away and everything comes together. Obviously that's dependent on mobility. If you don't have the mobility to do it, you can't actually do it in the handstand. You need to work on the mobility separately and then over time you're gonna make your handstand straighter. 
And then we see exactly the same thing in the one-arm handstand. So in the one-arm handstand, we think we need to get our weight on top of our hand, so we start moving sideways. Now when I keep moving sideways, I just carry on in that direction. So the body does this. Instead, when I'm moving over to this hand, if I push up, bring the shoulder, the elbow in towards the midline while my body gets on top of the base. So my hip is moving on top of my shoulder, on top of my hand, but they're moving away from each other into a strong position and, knock, and not knocking each other over sideways. So ideally, when I go into my one-arm handstand, I push up into the position, and then that's easier to hold, as opposed to going sideways, and I just fall out. Now all of those things are easy to demonstrate when you've got a good strong handstand and you've been doing it for a few years like I have. And there will be a lot of frustrating and a learning curve on all of those skills depending on what level you're at. But understanding those principles are really, really important. If you'd like help with your training and programming, check out my app, link is down in the description. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback down in the comments and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.